Hey, what's up? We are at 98, 98 degrees, degrees, and you're watching Chart Center. Chart Center! Yo, yo, this is Shoggy, and you're watching Chart Center, Mr. Lover. Hey, what's up? I'm Tetris. And I'm Christina. And welcome to Drake Center. Drake, 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 Drake. Drake, Drake, Drake. Drake, 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 Drake. Drake. And guess who's number one on the Billboard 200 for the ninth week straight? Yes, King, Dad, Boss, Lay, Work. He who must always be named now has the third most weeks at the top of the chart for a hip hop album. That's right, third of all time. But wait, somebody actually beat Drake in something that can't be right. Fire the teleprompter guy and get me a margarita. No Tetris, it's true. And the two leaders may be the best albums ever. Drake, Drake, 1989. Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Okay. Dun Dunna, dunna, can't touch this. MC Hammer's 1990 album topped the chart for 21 weeks to lead the pack, and in second place, School's in I'll give you a hint. To the extreme, he rocks a mic like a vandal. Light up the stage and wax a chump like a candle. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla Ice's To the Extreme bum rushed the chart for 16 weeks in 1990 and 1991. I'm on a roll. It's time to go solo. And meanwhile, my boys Blink-182 might have the best chance to actually take over Drake's top spot next week. MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice, Blink-182. Christina, do you know what that means? 90 segment. The 90s are back in a big way. Thanks, 98 Degrees. And it's the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. Plus, we've got Shaggy in the house. All that later in the show, but first... We have to pick out our outfits. Oh, I already did. Here's a clip. Yeah. More 90s coming soon, but first on the Hot 100, one dance rules again. And that means Drake ties for the longest consecutive control of the Hot 100 and Billboard 200 simultaneously among males. Now, Michael Jackson also led both lists concurrently for seven straight weeks in 1983 with this random song, Billy Jean, and a little album called Thriller. Well, he ties Michael Jackson and beats my BFF, Taylor Swift. She's the latest star to get bested by Drake. Now he's landed eight weeks at the top of the Billboard 200, the Hot 100, and Artist 100. That breaks his tie with Taylor, who pulled the hat trick for seven weeks. Let's talk about tours. It's time for your live look in presented by StubHub. StubHub, your ticket out. Adele kicked off the North American leg of her tour on Tuesday in St. Paul, Minnesota. X is everywhere united. And Billboard did a deep dive investigation into her performances so we can exclusively prepare you for what to expect. She's gonna burp in somebody's face. Yep. Oh my God, I just burped. <laughs> she will probably curse a whole lot, especially if she forgets her lyrics. <laughs> And she still makes it awesome. She'll bring some amazing choreography. And of course, she'll hopefully get you engaged if she notices you popping the question in the audience. But will she break out and do something completely different? Of course she will. What could be the cherry on top? Well, Adele says she wants to visit Britney Spears' show in Vegas. So maybe, just maybe, these two can collaborate. Mm -hmm. Hello from the other side. Nailed it. Now, another tour starting this week is 98 Degrees, who just kicked off My 2K with O-Town, Ryan Cabrera, and Dream. And that brings us to what we promised you before, Decade Rewind, presented by StubHub. I've got an idea. Let's do a makeover. Booyah! Ooh, you look good! <laughs> West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playgrounds where you spend most of your days. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing, oh, all cool. cool. And all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. And speaking of 98 Degrees, they came by for a Billboard Facebook Live performance. It's the hardest thing I'll ever have to do To turn around and walk away Pretending I don't love you we also asked them about our favorite subject, 90s disses. Oh, as if. We used to say, that's whack. That's whack. All the time. Whack 98 degrees, whatever. That was way harsh, Tetris. Talk to the hand. Basically anything clue. Yes. I thought it reeked. I believe that was your designer imposter perfume. <laughs> We are so excited because we have a very special treat for you. We have Mr. Boombastic, Mr. Lover Lover, Shaggy here. We are so excited. Thank you so much for joining us. Atta, atta, every time. Oh my God, amazing. <laughs> I love this. Boom, 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 boom
Oh, you have God. your new single on iTunes, yeah. I Got You. You had a sample, James Brown, who apparently was a fan of yours. How did that yeah. all come about? I did a tour with James Brown, and every night that I performed, he, they would bring a chair out, and he would sit and watch my performance. He, he'll come and he's like, Shaggy! And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yeah, Godfather! You know, and, and, you know, I'm like, yo, showstopper! And I realized after a while that I'm the only person who didn't call him Mr. Brown. Just for some reason, I, I got away with calling him Godfather. <laughs> when you call yeah. James Brown Godfather, yeah. that's yeah. pretty or, amazing. You see Shaggy in town, Catch him. He'll be around for a long, long time. You have an album coming out in the fall. Mm -hmm. Mr. That's Lover, true? yeah. <laughs> I try to make these records that are classic, and I, I use classic sounds in mm -hmm. making them and put something that will attract a new audience to it, but at the same time, still keep that classic feel that it would last for years and years and years to come. So since one of your biggest songs was called It Wasn't Me, we want to play a game called Was It Me? Was It Me? So we have a <laughs> list of lyrics, including your lyrics and some famous 90s lyrics. All, right. and all you have to do is say, it was it me. It was me or it wasn't me. me. All right. Born sinner, the opposite of a winner. Remember when I used to eat sardines for dinner? It wasn't me. Oh, that's a notorious big name. You got it. Smooth, just like silk. Soft and cuddle, hug me up like a quilt. Soft and cuddly, <laughs> hug me up like a quilt. It's patois, so you wouldn't be able to catch that. That was me. Now that I got me some Seagram's gin, everybody got their cups, but they ain't chipped in. Wasn't me. Snoop Dogg. Well, most of all, I love how she go. The wiggle and the jiggle, huh, the way she glow. That is me. Yep. Do you know what song? Uh, oh, uh, I don't know the song. Sexy body girl. Sexy body girl. <laughs> Sexy body girl from New York, hear me know. Christina, your hair. Your clothes. Hey, we're quick change artists. We A Great Big World just kicked off their summer tour, which goes through September 13th. They stopped by the Billboard studio recently, and Cher Carson talked to them about the tour and the album they released in November, when the morning comes. Check this out. Thanks so much, Christina and Tetris. You guys are about to embark on a tour. What do you guys do on the bus when you're kind of just like chilling? Well, we're all picking some new hobbies to learn. I want to learn guitar. I've decided. Wait, was it, did you have a discussion with everyone oh, about yeah, this? Oh yeah, we had a discussion without you. Oh, what's my hobby? Piano. Oh, so just learning a new instrument. No, it could be anything. Okay, I'll learn piano. Speaking of something new, you guys are going to perform Won't Stop Running. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2007. My doctor then said that I would be paralyzed within seven years. Basically, this song is my response to him. It's about my curiosity to understand why I got the disease in the first place, because at 21 years old, I never had these symptoms um, before this moment. So what triggered this? What was, what was that? And how do I get back to that place uh, with my body? to find that balance again. This has been like a journey for me, um, and that's what this song means uh, for me. They also performed their third single from the album, Won't Stop Running. And you can see the whole thing on billboard.com. But for now, here's a sneak peek. I'm Tetris. I'm Christina. Yo, Holmes, smell you later. Facing the 